Hello, Jeff Burton. I am a sixth grade science teacher at Creighton Middle School. Uh, this year in sixth grade science, we will cover energy, weather, animals, plants, bacteria, and protists. Uh, in the first nine weeks, we're focusing on energy. In the second nine weeks, we focus on weather. Uh, every week, your child should review their notes from class. Now, sometimes that might be materials that I have sent to them. Sometimes that might be materials that they have manufactured or written or made out of a foldable and so forth. Every week they should also complete a homework sheet. Homework is due on some weeks is due Thursday, some weeks is due Friday, and it depends on a litany of things. But the children always know when the due date is for homework. They should also study vocabulary nightly most difficult part of science in middle school is the vocabulary. So they need to be looking at vocabulary words on a daily basis. Um, if your child needs any additional help, they can find me during RTI. They can also email me. Uh, they can chat in the Teams chat and so forth. Now the mandatory meetings for RTI are Monday is A block, Tuesday is B block, Wednesday is C block, Thursday is D block. But again, if your child needs any extra help, all they got to do is email me or chat in Teams. Um, your child's grade can be seen using PowerSchool. I update my grades really throughout the week. Um, you'll you'll see that the, the grades um, change. There's a 50-50 scale this year. Formatives count 50% of the grade. Tests count 50% of the grade. So uh, our summative tests are uh, you know, somewhere between 20 and 40 questions regularly. Um, that's 50% of their grade. And then 50% of their grade is basically everything else. Homework, classwork, I keep portfolios of their materials and so forth through teams. Your child should have an online textbook through McGraw Hill. As far as I know, everybody's using it so they know how to get there. Um, they have a paperback workbook uh, that should be in their possession daily. The paperback workbook is black. It's an interactive eyesight workbook. And truthfully, it is like the lifeline of this course because it's where we write um, any of our notes from time to time. We highlight in there. We annotate the text. We draw pictures. It's, it's a, an invaluable resource. It needs to be in their possession every day. Um, Notes and handouts I make readily available um, through Teams. I also um, email material to the students. So if it always goes both places. That way, if Teams isn't working or they're having trouble with Teams, they can find it in their email. Um, it, they should, because I'm going to the trouble to make sure that I'm sending it to both places, I would prefer that the students actually check their teams as well as their email from time to time. Um, it just, I, you know, it's a daily practice that that I think they should they can get into. Um, if I assign work into in teams, there's always a start date and an end date. They're always noted. It's always plain to see. Now daily students should be prepared to learn. They should always have all of their materials with them. That means paper, pencil, pens, their workbook, uh, anything that they're going to need to be learning with. They need to be on time to class. Their uh, microphone should be muted and their camera should always be on. That helps us with this. All right. I'm beginning to see a few more pillows and blankets. Uh, we don't need that. The, you know, the children are supposed to be in a, in a good learning environment. For most cases, that would mean they're at a desk or a kitchen table. Um, also, uh, if you could try to always keep the pets away from the children, that would be most appreciated. Uh, <clears throat> at any rate, I, I truly look forward to working with you and your child this school year. If you all, that's parent or student, ever need me, email me, use the chat in Teams, um, and, and just stay in contact with me. My email address is jeffrey.burden at richland1.org. So that's J-E-F-F-R-E-Y dot burden at richland, O-N-E dot org. Um, 
don't ever hesitate to uh, contact with me or make contact with me. I've already contacted a great many of you all, and I certainly do appreciate uh, the efforts of your children and um, just do not hesitate moving forward to, uh, to get in contact with me if I can help you with anything. All right, I certainly appreciate you and have a wonderful day.